So it's the middle of the night. I wake up and I see a face. It's a young man in Fresno. Then God said, this is the face of a young man in Fresno. And he has all of the things that are indescribable. The, the look of someone on heroin. The look of someone in a homeless camp. The look of someone in a violent gang, all embodied in one countenance. And with a broken voice, he says, if you want to, you can help me. And I turned into a felon. You, you have no idea. I reached DEFCOM 1. I melted down. I, it was China syndrome, critical mass. I got out of bed. I had to wait until somebody was awake. And I said, Frank, we're going to Fresno. He said, we can't. We can't get a permit. I said, I banged the phone on the table, went, <laughs> we're going to Fresno. And he said, how? I said, I don't know how, but I'm going. Well, there was a park called Granite Park, soccer field, baseball fields. It's the only one that's privately owned in Fresno. Somebody owned it that used to work with the park and recreation, but they pulled out. So we told them, said, hey, our, our uh, minor league season's been canceled. We can't have any meetings. So we called them. I said, Frank, call them. He said, Mario, they're not going to say anything, but they're going to tell you there's a ban. They can't do it. It's illegal. They'll lose their whatever they have with the city. I said, call them anyway. He called them, and they said, we'll give you five days. And Frank called me back. He said, what is going on? How many of you believe that right here, right now, God can do miracles like that? Open doors that everyone says can't be open. Glory to God. You know, y'all sang some very bold songs tonight. Y'all are up here, you know, I'm going to tear the devil's lips off. I'm going to wait on God and I'm going to fly through the air. Can no devil stop me? I'm ready to go. Well, here's the man that's going to call you on everything you sang tonight. And if you believe that no weapon formed against you, brother man from California is about to call you on it. Do you believe that no weapon formed against you will prosper? I want to, do you believe that? Do you believe that you have the power to put up a tent Empty wheelchairs, get drug addicts. We printed up 40,000 cards. <laughs> Come to the tent crusade in October. It was actually on these very dates that we're here with you. A year ago today. A year ago today it began. So that's why I was haunted by it, because it was a year ago today in the heat of the pandemic when they were telling us that we would lose our, our nonprofit status. Woo! I just, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I care about that. Because I'm going to tell you, we need to quit giving because we're getting a tax exemption. We need to give because God, is, you know, we got to get out of the government system. We got to get out of it. Amen. Well, our workers went to Fresno. We got in hotels we shouldn't have gotten in. We got houses we shouldn't have gotten. All the while, we're under the radar. But we're ministering semi-trucks, loads of food into the homeless camps. Under the radar. Thousands of people are getting ministered to. Then we direct mailed 10,000 postcards to the people that lived near the park. 
Now we're not under the radar. So people start calling the park. What is going on here? And Frank, great man of God, great man of faith, he calls me and he goes, they're getting a bunch of phone calls at Granite Park, a bunch of phone calls. So then the devil told me, cancel it because you're going to hurt people. And uh, so I... I said to Frank, you know what? Uh, the devil's trying to tell me to cancel it. So he called the park just to investigate what would happen if we canceled. The lady that ran the park, one of the people that have authority over it, they said, don't you dare cancel it because you don't know what these phone calls are. There are people saying, is it true that there's going to be a meeting where we're going to pray for the sick? Is it true that someone is going to preach the gospel? And he said, don't you dare cancel this or we'll have a riot on our hands. So the next time we talked, we asked them, if the city and the state steps in and claims that they'd shut us down, are you going to stand with us? And they said, yes, we'll stand with you. And so on opening day, we set up 800 chairs thinking to ourselves, this is awesome. We got 800 chairs. And then 1,200 people showed up <laughs> one year ago today. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. That's when a woman with multiple sclerosis that came in on a walker started dancing before the Lord. That's when the drug addicts began to be saved. But I've forgotten the most important part of this story. We didn't have a permit. And Frank and I don't even want to talk about it. We don't have a permit. We're in a public park, tent is up, and Frank is saying, you know, this was 24 hours before the tent crusade was to begin. He said, man, we don't have a permit. I said, we're going anyway. We're going anyway. Now, let me tell you what I'm going I'm, to, I'm going to finish the story and tell you what happened in the next few days in Fresno, because we were there six days. Six nights. So, what is a friend? Well, a good friend is someone that will bail you out of jail at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right? But a best friend is sitting in the cell with you saying, wasn't that fun? <laughs> Am I right? And Frank and I were prepared to be cellmates. <laughs> and he looked at me over the phone and he said, we're, we are going to have a packed out tent tomorrow night. We don't have a permit. And I said to Frank, isn't that fun? <laughs> and the morning of the event... We were called into the city hall. And there was a lady behind the counter that called us to come. And she had the permit in her hand. And she went like this. <laughs> Said, get out of here. Is our God able? Is he able? Will he open the door? The Bible says, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. 
and my knuckles are bruised from doing all that knocking because I'm going to open every door in America, every hell hole, and we're going to take a generation back for Jesus. Yeah, we are. We're going to take them back.